Hello, it's Oliver again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a VNC server on your Raspberry Pi. Right, okay, so you're going to want to open a LX terminal, and in there, you want to put sudo apt get install tight VNC server. Right, so you'll need an uh, internet connection for this. Um, but this just installs the program that we need so it will do its thing um, mine, mine's already installed um, but yours will do like a load of coding and stuff so then we want to run the program so you put tight vnc server enter that then it will ask you for a password so you put in password of whatever you want and then verify it and then it'll ask you if you want to want to enter a view only password and you just need to put no by pressing N right so it'll create a new desktop for me it's four but for you it'll probably be one if it's your first time using it but this will only, if you connect to this, it will only make a small screen in your, on your computer. So, if you put in VNC server, then make a new one. So I'll make one 5 here. Um, and then dash geometry. Then you need to find out what the, um how many pixels are on your screen so mine's a 27 inch screen so it's i know that it's 2560 by 1440 so then and then you need to put dash depth 24 so you enter that and it'll create a new one so now all we need to do is join it on your computer okay so now all we need to do is connect to the VNC server from your client so you can get the VNC viewer from the internet it's easy to get uh, and it's free so all you need to do is put in your um, IP address for your Raspberry Pi so this is mine um, you can find yours by typing in the LX terminal IP ADRA show so IP gap a D D R, uh, yeah, gap, S H O W, and then you need to put whatever number you put in there. So I put five, so I type in five, and you press enter. It'll come up with this warning. You just click continue, and then it'll ask for the password. So it's just the same password that you put in before. So I'll put mine in. Press enter, and boom. You've got your Raspberry Pi. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I got my Arduino working with my Raspberry Pi so that I can make a light flash on the Arduino using.